This is as vital to Connecticut as it gets. This is about technology. And this is about Connecticut leading technology. This is something that's going to elevate Pratt & Whitney and take them into the next generation. This is the Advanced Composite Technology Center. People know composites from their use in things like sporting equipment, whether it's tennis rackets or skis. But there are diverse applications for composites. Here are the lower temperature composites used at the front of our engine, the fan and LPC, and, 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 and there's a big potential for composites. We need lightweight to save fuel. The robot makes the very complex shaped parts. Layer by layer, the engineer can evaluate real time if there's a problem with the part and fix it immediately. It shows leadership and it shows commitment and that's what Pratt & Whitney has done really for decades here. They've put their stake down on the ground. This is where they're going to develop composites technology. The Advanced Composites Technology Center will allow Pratt & Whitney to better perform on government contracts by bringing in material suppliers, universities, and our industry partners into one collaborative, centralized location. You've got Goodwin University, where we're located now. You've got Pratt & Whitney, who's across the street. You've got the Connecticut Center for Advanced Technology. And then you also have support being provided by the state of Connecticut. So, so it truly is a public-private partnership uh, and it's really helped keeping us at the cutting edge. We were already invested as a university to create new composites centered uh, graduate degrees for this area because you have a lot of brilliant young minds in engineering. The jobs in engineering are so attractive that this state becomes a magnet for advanced engineering people from all over the country. They all come here. The manufacturing industry is really an exciting place to be right now and it's continuing to evolve uh, every day. Um, we hear the term Industry 4.0 a lot now, which is our fourth industrial revolution. So there are so many different technologies in that area, including additive and composites. Being industry-led means that we're getting it right. It's not about government saying, hey, let's try to do something, build it, so to speak, and they will come. This is about industry saying, we need this, we know where it's going, let's get everybody on board together, and that's what we've all done. The power of it is making it available to other manufacturers in the state to come in and see it, see how this technology is applied, and start thinking, you know, how can I apply that to my business? That's where CCAT comes in. How do we work on these processes, work in these technologies, and make them available to companies, get them to adopt them into their shop floor? It's for the taking, and we have to make sure that we take this opportunity, and it's once in a generation, and we make the most of it for Connecticut, because it's going to be a major draw for our economy in decades ahead. Yeah.